Hello, my friends. I am your friend Kevin, and this is your divine inspiration message for today. All right, my friends. So we're going to open a couple new decks for this week. And uh, you can follow an earlier video I did on how I consecrate, open up and create a relationship with these tools. But let's start with today's message. We are in a angel numerology number four day, which is really for me is called angels of present guardian angels, archangels, just the angels. And the messages are basically saying to stop worrying about whatever we were thinking about when the number was called or when you came to this channel, when you came to this video. Uh, this works with the tarot card of the magician and the star. So if you're into tarot, pull those two cards out. And it also invokes the power of Archangel Shamuel, friend of God, and Archangel Gabriel, the one who sees, makes the great announcements, who shows us what we need to see, do, and um, where we need to be. Like a I like to call uh, Archangel Gabriel as the one who is a bit like uh, a director, uh, sort of like a traffic person who sends us where we need to be and lets everyone know that we've arrived. Now, my, <clears throat> the lovely new deck <clears throat> that I've got, excuse me, my throat's all clogged up. It's from Radley Valentine's Angel Affirmation deck. And um, I like to learn about why, how, where these decks come from, what's their origin, what's the integrity behind them before I just go randomly by them. So the two affirmations on here is I release self-judgment and I embrace self-love. I find beauty in every aspect of my being. That's pretty important right now. The message from your love angels we can fly into your life when you need help. Finding love for yourself, allow us to help you see yourself clearly as a true beloved child of the divine. Now, what's lovely and magical about this card and the others that go with today's message is the divine masters, as I shuffled, and chose, thinking I was choosing one, but two. This is how they showed up, just like this. So I couldn't decide. Elmora was around in the 1800s in an area of Kashmir, India. He was pivotal in stopping the British invasion. Now in spirit form, he is creating a spiritual force field of protected light that is surrounding all of us. But it's a big reminder that we are safe. Very, very similar to Archangel Michael. The difference being this is a divine master that actually walked the earth and had a purpose, had a divine purpose for being here. Then we have Sanat Kumara which is a twin flame to Lady Venus. <clears throat> Sunat Kumara works between realms, in between the realms uh, of space and time. And basically, Sunat Kumara is saying we are to be, if we're not already, an open channel. You may be hearing ringing in your ears, you might be seeing odd signs that when you blink, they're gone. These are downloads, sacred information that is being given to us in the divine wisdom that we've been asking for, particularly if you are a light worker and you are feeling the energetic shifting of other people. If you're, um, I don't know the, for me, I don't know how any of us work the light, work the love, work angelic, um, all of that. I call it woo-woo. It's easier for me to put it in a bucket of woo-woo. Uh, who are into that, that want to be of service to other people. I don't know how we cannot be affected by the 
global consciousness that is happening. The destruction, in some respects, opens the door for the light to come in and lift up. So these two divine masters are basically saying, you're going to be protected. You've got to stop worrying. You have to just do what you came here to do. And I think that the, the downloads, the magical downloads, are what we've already been told. Uh, and we're stepping forward. Now, my isms, before I get into these two, the world is not broken. I'm perfectly lined up. You are perfectly lined up. I'm perfectly lined up. We are all perfectly lined up. I am of purpose. I am decisive. I am loving. I am appreciated. And I am determined. You're going to find folks approaching you because you are light and they feel it. Because you are grace and they feel it. Because you are integrity and they feel it. Because you are truth and they feel it. I am aligned with my missions and anchored in my purpose. This is what we're here to do. Align ourselves up with our mission, get lined up with our purpose. Now here's the other good thing. We have angelic activation of Archangel Uriel reminding us it's going to be okay. His golden glittery light says no matter what's happening, it's going to be okay. Everything is working out for you. The angels of light are shining upon you. Your situation and anyone involved. If you are feeling overwhelmed or anxious, know that this is a reminder of how much you can, how much you care about the things turning out well. And they will turn out well. Your activation message is thank you, Uriel, for helping me trust the process. Trusting the process for most of us, and this is what this version of Archangel Uriel looks like. Kind of a handsome dude. Um, trusting the process can be challenging when there isn't a physical reference point. When we are, you know, some will call it blind faith. Yet, that passion, that fire within our belly is the blind faith faith that we've been using our entire life we'll just now be doing it more and more and more now uh the wonderful karen k her first deck the oracle of the fairies so now i'm invoking gertrude and beatrice to come forward and they came flying across a field of really rich deep green grass so what the message from both of them is Fill your light, fill your life with natural light. Go out in the sunshine, go out in the dirt. But what they said is this lush green grass is basically you harvesting what it is, the magic, the miracles, the glittery stuff that you want. Now they're floating around a little pond in the middle of this lush green meadow. Flowers are blooming. This is what they want you to focus on. What does it look like when flowers bloom? What does it look like when um, the leaves are falling from the tree in the northern hemisphere in the springtime in the southern hemisphere, but it's still growth, it's still light. They want you to think and focus on bunny rabbits and, well, this is kind of odd, but still, just life in general, that how life is going to be and how it's going to turn out, not the mischief, the mayhem and the debauchery that seems to be distracting people. Um, don't be distracted by it. Uh, and you don't have to pull into their drama. You just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. I need to pick a card. Well, this card looks like it's something I want to pick. Now, what I love about these is the images are very simple and the message is very simple. But then fairies don't necessarily be, they're not necessarily complicated. However, they do command respect. They do command worthiness. They do command you to be um, understanding of them. So here we have sensitivity. And we've got our gorgeous fairy angel and the white dove of hope. And our fairy angel, which 
is feeding a unicorn. Oh. So, you know, we become the guardians of the sensitivity of all that is natural, all that's nature. Um, I think that the fairies are letting us know that they realize how sensitive we truly are. And they want us to know they get it. They understand it. I would say, while this fairy is feeding the unicorn, understand that their sensitivity in the in the um, animals, you know, bunny rabbits. Uh, I am sensitive to the needs of my um, little cats that are uh, running around. So these are things that they want us to concentrate on, to be. Um, I'm trying to find the, the the page in the book that talks about sensitivity, but not finding it. So uh, I just go with the flow of what this card means. Um, there isn't one for sensitivity, so we'll just interpret it. Um, I think it's just to be sensitive to ourself, sensitive to the world around us, sensitive to nature, sensitive to the earth, sensitive to other people. If someone needs help, be sensitive to the fact that they may feel a little bit out of control. Um, but this card really is, to me, it's talking about sensitivity to nature, sensitivity to animals. Deer, rabbits, dogs, cats, birds, feed them. Feed them, feed them, feed them. And then give thanks that they're protecting us too. All right, my friends, that's it for me today. Have a great day. Enjoy whatever you're doing and try not to worry. All right, bye for now. Hey, everybody, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with all your friends. Uh, here's a QR code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me. I'm available most evenings and on the weekends. Just go over to the website, book in what session, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, uh, and then fill in the contact information, and I'll be back in touch. And if you feel kind enough, here is a link to my donation button. Energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received. Until next time, be well, be blessed, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.